Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Snip and Sketch app which is the successor to the Snipping tool. Now before I started recording for this video I made a folder called Snips to save all our snips into. Now to launch the Snipping tool you're going to need to press the following the Windows key, Shift and the letter S all at the same time. Voila! We have our Snipping tool. We have the ability to take four different kinds of snips. The first type of snip is the rectangular snip. The second kind is the freeform snip. And the third kind is the window snip. And lastly, the full screen snip. The first snip that we're going to use is the rectangular snip. Let's go over to our shortcuts and take a snip of them. So the first thing you'll need to do is left click, hold and drag to select the area that you want to take a snip of. I'm happy with this snip. Let me just get the top there. Okay, I'm happy with the snip. I'm going to let go of the left click. And there you go. You've taken your first snip. Let's click on this. And now you have various options to edit your snip. You can select the touch writing tool, which is great if you have a touch screen laptop or tablet. You also have the ballpoint tool here. So you can select that and you can draw. You also have the pencil tool and the highlighter tool. You also have the eraser. Let's erase all the markings that we have made. Let's erase that, that, and that. You also have the ruler tool where you can be very precise with your editings. You also have the crop tool, which I'm going to use now. I'm just going to crop down to where the Photoshop and the snips are. I'm going to hit the tick symbol. You have the option to save, copy, and share. I'm going to save it to the snips folder. Let's call it snip1. You also have the option of copying it and entering it into a document. So let's open up WordPad real quick and let's right click and paste. And there you go, the snip has been pasted into a document. Let's do the same for an email. Right click and paste. And there you go, it's being uploaded into my Gmail email address. As simple as that. Let's minimize this let's go back to taking snips. Now what you want to do is, is go to the top left hand side here and select new. Let's select another mode. Click this one, freeform snip. And let's take a freeform snip. Let's take a snip of the logo here, the Microsoft logo. So you simply draw and make sure you loop back to where you started to complete the snip. And as simple as that, you've taken your snip. Let's remove the ruler tool real quick by deselecting it. And let's slave the second snip. Let's call this snip2. And let's go back to the top right here and then choose another mode. So let's choose the window snip. Select it and then click on the window that you want to take a snip of. And as you can see there is a white rectangular border around the window that you want to take a snip of. Let's left click and as easy as that you've taken a window snip. Let's save it and call it snip3. And finally, go back to the top right here, left click, and then select full screen snip. Left click, and now you have the option of taking a full screen, and it does it automatically. No need to select an area to take a full screen snip. Let's save it and call it snip4. Another thing I want to show you is the options area. So click these three dots here and then go to settings. Here you'll have the ability to change the shortcut to a print screen shortcut. So every keyboard on every computer has a print screen button and it is much easier to press the print screen button than pressing the window shift and S all together. I'm going to activate that by clicking use the print screen button to open screen snipping. And then I'm going to press yes. And then what you want to do is scroll down to where it says print screen shortcut and you want to turn that to on. Let's close out of this and let's X out of this too. Now let's simply press the print screen button. And there we go. It brings up the snip and sketch app. Let's X out of this and I just want to show you one last thing before we end the video and that is to create some shortcuts on the taskbar and on the start menu. So what you want to do is go down to the magnifying glass or the search bar, whichever you have, left click on it, and then type snip and sketch. 
go to the top where it says snip and sketch, right click on it, pin to start and pin to taskbar. And as you can see on the bottom here, you have the snip and sketch icon pinned to your taskbar. And also if we click the start, you can also see that the snip and sketch app is also pinned to the start area. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.